My name is Dr. Karen Countryman Roseworm. I'm a master level social worker and I have my PhD in psychology. I'm the founder and executive director of the Center for Combating Human Trafficking at Wichita State University. And our mission is ultimately to help build the capacity of our country, of this world, to respond to the issue of sexual exploitation. The focus of our work really began just because we were seeing so many of the runaway and homeless youth that we were working with, that they were being sexually exploited through what we now call uh, domestic minor sex trafficking. We have worked for over 10 years to develop a domestic sex trafficking risk and resilience assessment, and that's gone through multiple layers of validation. We asked 258 young people the questions, number one, what do you feel put you at risk for sex trafficking? And then number two, what do you feel helped you get out of that experience of sex trafficking? What we were surprised to find is how there was a link between pornography and their risk for sex trafficking. Working with those who have been sex trafficked, we already knew that pornography was a part of the experience while they were being sex trafficked. What is most interesting though is to see that pornography is a common thread. So pornography is a risk factor. And then pornography, once they entered into a situation of sex trafficking and through force, fraud, or coercion, pornography was used as a means to normalize, to desensitize them to the sexual acts that they would experience, as well as pornography was oftentimes used as some sort of advertising for um, their sexual abuse. So through different modes of pornography that they would be filmed and that they would be used and they would be advertised for the various acts that could be done to them, that they could um, be engaged in. And it was, it was rape on camera. We really see the issue of trafficking on a continuum of violence from pornography to sex trafficking. All these issues are connected. And again, it's on that continuum of violence. The images that occur within pornography actually encourage and promote and normalize that people want violence during sex. So it is rare to see a pornographic image, to watch any sort of pornographic video in this day and age that does not include violence. And so what it communicates is people like to get hit, people like to get hurt, and these, these, these faces, these images of terror become a norm. All these issues are connected, and again, it's on that continuum of violence. So pornography absolutely perpetuates abuse. It, it perpetuates human trafficking. It dehumanizes people, and we know that we're always looking for numbers in our country. What is the percentage of people that are affected by this or that, specifically sexual exploitation, human trafficking? And I think that understanding the numbers and the extent to which this affects our population is important, and yet at the same time, I believe that one person exploited is one too many.